everybody, welcome back to the channel. Today we're taking a look at the new for 2022 Kramer Striker HSS. HSS Striker, uh, like I said, is a you know relatively new model. This actually just came out a couple of days ago on August 9th, uh, and there is a few you know various models in the line. Um, the flame top comes with either you know the hardtail version like I have, or does you can get it with a Floyd Rose, and then there's a non-flame top version uh, that comes in you know you know some various colors, and it comes with a Floyd Rose tremolo. So. Uh, the flame top version um, in the hardtail comes in this translucent purple and like a translucent black. And then the, the Floyd Rose version comes in a translucent red and a translucent green. I think they call it like Wild Ivy or something like that. But pretty nice looking guitars and, you know, for the, for the price point, they're, they're really, really good. on the guitar it does have a mahogany body uh it's got a flame maple veneer you know it's not a real thick flame top or anything like that just you know mainly for looks i'm sure it's not really you know going to affect the tone all that much it does have a maple neck um and it has an indian laurel fretboard uh and this actually this guitar actually has probably the best looking indian laurel fretboard of any of the guitars that i have that have you know laurel fretboard um it's you know it's really dark it's got it's got some you know subtle coloring in it that you know, it looks nice and, you know, I'm really happy with that. Uh, and then it does have, you know, your cool hockey, you know, hockey stick headstock here with the, uh, you know, with the vintage Kramer logo on it there, though. So, you know, good woods in a guitar. <laughs> As far as the components go, um, there's you know there's some there's some really good things and then there's some some you know average things I think. Uh, it does have an Epiphone lock tone tunematic bridge and an Epiphone you know tailpiece here and that's you know a little bit higher quality bridge on this guitar than you would normally find you know on a guitar in this price point. Uh, and then they did actually start using um, Graph Tech Newbone nuts so the nut is is a higher quality nut than than you know i've seen on some of the you know entry level kramers the tuners that come on it are okay they're not they're, they're not the greatest tuners in the world but you know they're okay you guys know i like locking tuners especially you know on a guitar you know with a hardtail so i went ahead and put um, on this one i put hip shot open gear locking tuners on it um you know and i think uh you know i think those tuners are you know a definite upgrade from the tuners that come on the guitar stock Like the Kramer Beretta special quick looks that I did, um, it, it, it comes with the Kramer Alnico 5 humbucker, which is a decent humbucker if you're playing like in hard rock, uh, you know, 80s rock kind of music. It's great for that. Um, the two single coils, I think, are a little bit weaker. They're Alnico 5 single coils as well. Um, they're, they're okay. They're not, they're not great. Uh, they're, they're a little noisy. Um, and you know maybe maybe you might want to replace the pickups you know if you got one of these um i think this would be a good mod platform um, because you know the neck and the you know the woods the body and everything you know are good 
Um, and like I said, if you're, you know, depending on what kind of genre of music you're playing, and if you're looking at one of these guitars, you're probably leaning more towards like the hard rock, 80s rock, maybe, you know, kind of music vibe anyway. So, um, you know, the electronics will probably serve you okay. <laughs> Kind of like um, you know what I said about the single coils being you know average, not 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 the greatest. The electronics in the guitar, um, you know, they're going to work. They're going to service you fine. Uh, it's got a five-way switch, volume and a tone. Um, you know, you open the back of the guitar, look. You, you know, the pots are the small type of pots. Uh, the five-way switch looks to be like you know your typical you know import entry-level guitar switch. Um, probably not going to last forever, but like I said, definitely gets the job done. Um, if you're not a touring musician, uh, you're probably going to be fine with these electronics, you know, as they are. So let's talk a little bit about the quality build of the guitar. Uh, the body and the neck, they're all, you know, crafted great. The finish is great. Nothing wrong with the finish at all. It's you know, basically flawless. Um, the neck's got a real nice satin, smooth, very smooth finish on it. Uh, the frets, the fret ends are great. Uh, you know, nothing, nothing there um, to worry about. Uh, the frets were all level. Didn't have to worry about that at all. The only thing I did was take a little steel wool and, you know, clean up the frets a little bit. Other than that, um, you know, very, very nice neck on it. It's not, um, it's, you know, your basic C shape. Kind of maybe leaning between a C and a slight D. More C, though, than anything. Um, it's not wizard thin. It's a thinner neck. But, um, you know, pretty comfortable neck. Don't have any problems with it at all. And, you know, like I said, the fret work on this guitar, like most of the Kramers that I've been seeing, somehow, you know, even for a, you know, less expensive import guitar, uh, the fret work has been, you know, surprisingly nice on these. I like to mention uh, the the cap that they're using on the tone pot uh, seems to be a pretty decent cap. This this tone knob I find is you know kind of usable, which is not always the case on these you know less expensive you know import guitars. But um, you know rolling this down to like you know, around two or three, it kind of gives you almost like a cocked wah type sound, uh, especially when you're using the single coils. So um, yeah, that's that's kind of nice, and and it. The, this guitar does not come with a treble bleed, so I, I don't know if it's Kramer maybe listening to a lot of us out here that um, have been, you know, taking the treble bleed off of the volume pots on the other Kramers because um, the treble bleed cap that they were using, it was basically just turning the volume, you know, pot into like an on-off switch. There wasn't like a gradual, you know, reduction in volume as you roll down, and then all of a sudden it just kind of went off. Um, so, you know, this guitar doesn't really suffer from that. And it's probably because they took that treble bleed cap they were using. I, I have a feeling they probably just weren't using a very high quality cap there, you know, for the treble bleed. And maybe that had something to do with it. So, but they're not putting them in, in these guitars, it looks like.
thumb pot in this guitar is pretty decent, I think. It, it doesn't get too dark when you roll it down like a lot of the cheaper import pots are, you know, prone to do. Uh, I'll give you an example with the uh, with the bridge in the middle pickup. So you can see it's pretty subtle, but uh, works nice, I think. So pros and cons of the guitar, um, you know, like I said, fit and finish is fantastic. Uh, the, you know, the, the fit of the neck is great. Um, you know, the finish is great. There's, there's no flaws in really anything. Um, it's got a, the, the, the finish on the back of the neck is really, really nice. It's super smooth. Uh, the flame maple veneer, um, it, it appears they are definitely using, you know, real flame maple veneers, but cause, cause these all, you know, all these you look at, they all look slightly different. It's not like they're just using a graphic or anything like that. So that's cool. Um, like I said, mahogany, mahogany body, the weights do kind of, Kind of shift around this one is um, right about seven pounds so it's pretty light um, i have seen some you know in the high sixes and there are some in the eights so you just kind of have to just kind of have to look around for that um, but yeah you know it's i think it's a fantastic mod you know platform guitar as well um, if you you know want to switch out you know the pickups or the electronics um, that would be easy to do and, and it probably really really make a make a killer guitar as it is right now i think it's a great guitar like i said that humbucker is fine unless you're playing you know all clean or you know blues maybe or something like that but it might even work for that but if you're you know if you're playing rock hard rock heavy metal you know 80s rock anything like that i think you're gonna be fine with the humbucker and you might be fine with the single coils too um i'm you know i don't think they're the greatest single coils are they the worst single coils i've ever played no definitely not but I think they are slightly weaker, you know, than the humbucker. And then, like I said, the electronics, you know, it's got the, it's got the small pots and that five-way switch, you know, might last you forever. It might not. Um, but those are relatively inexpensive and easy, you know, upgrades if you wanted to, you know, go that route. Uh, the tuners aren't the greatest tuners in the world. They're not the worst tuners either. Um, like I said, I always put locking tuners on all my guitars. So I knew I was going to do that regardless of, you know, what kind of tuners came on the guitar. So, and then, like I said, you know, they, they upgraded new bone uh, nut from Graph Tech there is, is a welcome, welcome addition. My nuts seemed to actually cut very, very nice. Uh, I didn't have to do any work on it at all, which, which is definitely a thumbs up. So, and the fretwork, you know, being great, happy with that too. Uh, you know, I just think for the money, these are going to be really hard to beat and, and, you know, they're kind of cool looking. Um, you do have an option, you know, if you don't want to go the Floyd Rose route, um, which is, you know, which is cool because mainly, you know, a lot of the Kramers all have, you know, tremolos on it. And if you're a hardtail guy, you know, you don't really have a ton of options. Um, this one would, would, you know, would definitely work. I went with the hardtail version just because one, I thought it was kind of cool looking, a little more unique. And I've got a lot of tremolo equipped guitars, so I really, you know, really wasn't worried about that. But, uh, you know, like I said, for the money, these things are going to be hard to beat. Uh, you know, wide variety of colors, um, craftsmanship and quality, you know, for, for this price point, you know, really, really nice. So, but that'll about do it for the quick look of the Kramer Striker HSS. Uh, I want to thank you guys for checking it out with me. We'll see you next time.